Let's speak with me now. Look, we just heard from Kamala Harris. She strongly disagrees with Biden using that word garbage. So the rift between the president and the vice president is extreme. Yeah, how comforting that uh, she doesn't think half the country is garbage. That's really good to know, particularly as she's running to unify the country, supposedly. But look, uh, we're supposed to take very, very seriously a joke made by a so-called insult comedian at Madison Square Garden uh, about Puerto Rico, but basically just dismiss totally what Biden clearly said. I mean, this is how many times have we been told not to believe what we actually see, Stuart? It's so preposterous. Uh, look, this was obviously, if you, are, if you are calling Trump Hitler, which Biden has been doing, and a Nazi and a fascist, and that's what all the Democrats have been saying for the last two weeks, then you have to kind of agree that his followers fall in the same puddle of <laughs> deplorables <laughs> and garbage, etc. So what I want is tomorrow on Halloween for hundreds of thousands of Americans to go to their local uh, hardware store, buy a garbage can, and go as a garbage can. I think that would be so fabulous. That's very good. Liz. Thank you. I wonder if you get any takers on that. We shall see. I'm going to do it. I, oh, I want the video. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll probably get mugged in New York City. Uh, oh, well. well. Uh, I've got one more for you. The pollster, Frank Luntz, he says, this is what he said about Harris's negative attacks on Trump. Roll that tape. The campaign is going more and more negative on Trump, using Trump's own words against him. But it's a focus on Trump rather than herself. At what point is she going to tell the American people what she's about? She still hasn't said what she's going to do, unless I missed it, in the first hour of her presidency, in the first day of her presidency, and in the first week of her presidency. And she's only got seven days to go. I'm wondering if she's too late. Think, well, I think late? from the beginning, they knew that the only thing she had to sell was hatred of Donald Trump. And that's a really tragic thing. Um, all this slicing and dicing of the population and the negativity, uh, that's what she has been running on. There really hasn't been any deviation from that. She was talking about her speech last night, what she's going to do on day one, how she's going to turn the page. What? What is she going to do on day one? What is her agenda? I mean, people still want to know. And it's not just me saying this. That's what the polls show, that they still don't know really what she represents. And we all know it's because she's afraid to admit that she, yes, she is an extreme progressive Democrat. That's what she was in 2019. That wasn't like the dark ages. That's just five years ago, and that's who she is. Liz Peek, thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you. Thanks Let's for go. having me.